Hi, in this video I'll show you the signs you'll encounter at an airport in the sim and what they mean. This video assumes you've already watched part 2 of this series at a minimum and already understand the naming of the taxiways at airport KVNY. As stated in the previous video, you should consult the airport chart for your departure and arrival airports. This should be part of your planning process as well as just for reference when you're at a given airport. While handcrafted airports that a Sobo implements are very detailed, they never seem to include all relevant signage or they just put signs in the wrong places. Many airports will have no signs whatsoever so the airport charts are your friend. Links are in the description so you can get free charts for all airports in the US from the web. The naming and signage that I'm covering in this video applies to the US and its FAA agency rules. Other countries will have variations in terms of naming that I won't cover here. There are six categories of airport signs, but the SIM only implements a subset of three of the airport guidance signs. They are Direction signs contain a yellow background with black lettering and typically will have an arrow. These are indicating where one or more taxiways are in front of you that you're about to intersect. Location signs in the sim for taxiways use a yellow bordered black background with bold yellow lettering. When you're facing these types of signs, they indicate what taxiway you're currently on. Mandatory instruction signs. These consist of white lettering on a red background. You'll find these painted on the ground at hold positions with the runway number at larger airports, as well as on guidance signs around the airfield in the sim. Mandatory instruction signs indicate a required hold position that require ATC clearance to proceed past. No other examples of these are currently in the sim. As a general rule, airport guidance signs that apply to you will be located on the left side of the taxiway or runway that you're currently traveling on. The left side is chosen since it's the typical position in the cockpit for the pilot. You can still find them on the right side of your viewpoint. These typically occur when there's no appropriate location on the left side to place the sign, or, typically, on the sides of runways to indicate the two directions that intersecting taxiways offer. Most, but not all, signs occur at intersections. For arrivals, the runway should have the taxiway direction signs for you to reference like this one here. At taxiway intersections, you'll encounter combined direction and location signs like this. You should now have a good idea of how location and direction signs work. Let's do an arrival and a departure and see how we use the ATC directions with the signs. Having landed at KVNY, ATC tells me to exit the runway at the first taxiway I encounter. I can see the name of the next taxiway that I'll encounter on the right side of the runway as well as the left. I exit the runway like so and request taxi clearance to park the aircraft. After getting the ATC clearance and directions, I confirm the transmission and follow the directions like this. A nice thing about the sim is that we have a nice written record of the directions in the ATC window to refer to. I'm told to use Taxiway Golf to get to Alpha, take Alpha over to the general aviation parking. To the left of my aircraft, I have the combined location direction sign that confirms that I'm on Golf and that Alpha is straight ahead and runs left and right. Let's repeat that exercise with the taxi ribbon turned on so you can see how that works. We turn on the ribbon feature in options like this. Having landed once more, I request taxi to parking and the sim gives us the ribbon marker to guide us to the parking area so we just follow that to the parking spot park, and shut down. Now let's do a departure. Here I am at ramp 7-4 parking with the aircraft started and ready to go. 
Now I request clearance to taxi for departure. I confirm the clearance. I'll omit the pushback. Now I just follow the ATC directions. Based on the airport chart, I know that Romeo is at the opposite end of the runway I'm adjacent to, so we take taxiway Alpha up to Romeo. Let's stop here and have a quick look at the location and direction sign at this point. We can see that it indicates that Quebec is this taxiway, so Romeo should be next. Now I'm at my hold position at what should be Romeo and looking at the sign we can see that indeed I am at Romeo and holding for runway 34 left. I'd request takeoff clearance here. Let's do this once more with the ribbon real quick so you can see that. Here we are at ramp 12 at KVNY and I'll start this 152 from cold and dark. I won't bore you with the pushback. Okay, we're ready to request clearance for taxiing. We tune to the local ground and request clearance to taxi for a straight out departure. Okay, we're cleared to taxi to 34 left and hold via taxiways Alpha and Romeo once again. I'll go into Options, Assistance, Navigation Aids and turn the taxi ribbon on like this. Now we have a ribbon with a destination marker. The marker is past the hold position though. I'll taxi on over there. Okay, we've reached our hold position and the marker has disappeared, but notice that the ribbon is directing us to head over to the blast pad chevron. That's a big no-no, so don't depend on the ribbon to be the be-all, end-all in terms of smarts and accuracy. Checking the guidance signs next to us, we can see that we were on Alpha and now we're on Romeo, just as we were directed by ATC. Now I'll request clearance to take off, acknowledge it, and ignore the ribbon from this point. That should be enough to get you navigating airports with ATC directions. Make sure to consult your airport charts for the most accurate look at the airport layouts. Real life NOTAMs are not reflected in the sim. Don't be surprised to show up at an airport and find a closed runway that NOTAM makes no mention of like this one at KAVP in Pennsylvania. Additionally, in this series of videos, I point out some guidelines for taxiway naming, but airports can and will deviate from those guidelines, such as KAVP here. They use a taxiway name that consists of a letter and a number for taxiways that intersect the runways, unlike KVNY, which only uses those for runways that intersect the ramps and aprons. Additionally, this airport has no direction signs on the ground. I hope this video helps someone out there, and if you liked it, please click the like, as that really helps. Until the next video, take care.